well, a very good morning from uh, Beamish, uh, the Living Museum of the Northeast of England. Uh, it opens weekends only at the moment until it gets further on into the season. Uh, so we can have a walk around and do a bit of filming. The site itself is over 350 acres, so you can spend a full day here. You can get around by the trams, the buses. I think later on in the season they also have the steam trains here as well. So a very, very interesting place to come to. So you've got history here from the late 1800s, the Edwardian era, through to the Victorian era, up to the 1950s. So a step back in time. You booked in for a, a set and perm. Get your yeah. head back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It was. Well, it was like an audience. Yeah. yeah. And you yeah. would take it, and your hair would be like, I once got one during when I was really young, and it was really tight. Tight pill. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is normally called as you can. Oh, yeah. 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 That yeah. kind of artwork, it's a bit more artwork. Look, that's it. That's so I remember them television stuff. When I, when I was, yeah, I remember that. We had one of those. That's how, uh, yeah. House of the famous artist Norman Cornish, who was born just a few miles away from here. Ooh, Sherbet Dip, I remember that. It certainly does bring back memories walking around a place like this, does it not? some sort of religion and it could be any religion uh, Catholics tended not to join the Masons because they're not allowed to keep secrets Back 
in the day, the safe upstairs, would be left open for any potential customers to come in to see all the money that the bank had. Because in them days, seeing was believing. So the dentist was one wealthy person because uh, in these days there was no national health service. Uh, payment was always upfront, just in case when you wanted an anaesthetic you didn't come back around. So the dentist always got his money. I remember them water bottles there. Yeah, I do. Mm. From when I was a kid, my grandmother's yeah. Yeah. stone water bottle. Unfortunately, the uh, steam train is not running today. I think it's one of them things that uh, further on in the season uh, it will be running. You can also go down uh, one of the old mines and get a tour down there. But just like the steam train, that's not open today, which is a shame because I really wanted to do that. But either way, we're still having a good day and uh, still so much to see here. Like I say, you could spend a whole day. Uh, I think it was £21.50, I think, uh, for an adult to get in. Uh, if you're an old age pensioner like me, you can get in for £15.50. So, very good value, I think. And once you've got that ticket, you can come as many times as you want within one year. The old AA box. So the old AA box. And I remember a time uh, when my dad was one of the first people that was straight to have a car. And he was in the AA and he had an AA badge on the front of his car. And if ever we were driving out anywhere and you saw an AA patrolman and he saw the badge on my dad's car, he would salute as my dad drove past. True story, actually. So in the days that uh, pupils were at the school, 
there were about 50 per class or 50 per teacher. In them days, he did what you were told. So these are the old pit houses, all brought from about uh, 15 miles away. They're all dismantled brick by brick and then rebuilt back here. Brings back a lot of memories uh, for Mrs. Metalman because her dad was an ex pitman. Talking 55, 60 years ago, there now. In the days he was down the pits, you were down for 12 hours in the dark, lying on your stomach with a pick, picking away at the coal seams. Coming back black as the ace of spades and getting a, a bath in front of the fire in a, a tin bath. Those were the days. We had an outdoor toilet. Yeah. Outdoor toilets. Outdoor toilets. the outside toilet. That's what you used. <laughs> oh well, North East of England had pit villages all over and every village had its own mine and unfortunately the one we're going to see today is closed. What a shame. I'm gonna to have to come back again. And that is Mrs. Metalman's dad doing exactly that, apart from the fact he laid on his stomach. So can you imagine a lot of people today working down the mines? It's a 14 year old. 12 hours a day, six days a week. absolutely fascinating look back through history yeah I've really enjoyed having a walk around today uh, and the beauty was having a, a year-long ticket we can come back again he's sick of his fall being took aren't you no, exactly. No, I think he's just had it. So, double toilet if you, you and your loved one want to go together. <laughs> they do say it's grim up north. Oof.
Oh no. <laughs> so if you have watched all the way through, thank you very much. <laughs> very much appreciate it. And if you've enjoyed this, click on the like button. Really would appreciate that as well. And it won't be too long before I'm back out again. Cheers.